Hello, I'm Dan Benson with Benson Filmworks. Today, we're going to talk about using DaVinci Resolve to burn in data. Now, uh, there are a lot of uh, different uh, options that you might want to uh, consider the data burn in for. For example, you might want to put your logo on a watermark, uh, maybe uh, some text information or time code, whatever. So uh, this uh, tutorial will get you up to speed with that remarkable functionality. By the end of this tutorial, we will cre have created a date and time stamp. The data burn in capability is in the color window. So find the color uh, tab and uh, then the data burn in is way over here to the right. It's the little campfire which is aptly named. So the first thing that we're going to do is a very simple thing and that is that we're going to add some custom text. Uh, let's click uh, custom text and I've already uh, entered some custom text but let's start from scratch. So we're, we'll see a little dialog box that looks like this and uh, let's enter our uh, custom text. So you can see that we have various options regarding that. Uh, we can change the font. We can change the size of the font. Now let's make that puppy really, really big so we can see what we're doing. We can change where the font is, where this text box is, vertically and horizontally. Now I'm going to move this up here so we can see what we've got going on and let's move it over here to the left. All right. So basically, that's very nice. That's a custom text, and that's how you enter that. Now, let's enter time code. This gets a little bit more complex. Shows off some more of the capability of DaVinci Resolve. We have various options when it comes to the time code. The first option is the record time code or a second option, record the frame number. Now these have to do with the time code on your timeline. This is in your program. The next option is the source time code. Now, as far as I know, DaVinci Resolve is the only capable video editing program that takes the source time code from the metadata on your camera. Now this is wonderful. Uh, all the other video editing programs require you to enter the starting time code. If you just have one clip, that's not too bad, but when you have a multitude of clips, it's a real pain to have to enter the starting time code for each clip. In this option, DaVinci Resolve will do it automatically from your metadata. So let's click the source time code. And I'm going to raise it up here so that we can see what we've got. Let's put it over here a little bit. Okay. So this is the default uh, display. We have SRC TC time code colon hour, minute, seconds, and frames. Well, you may like that, but you may want to clean it up here a little bit. And so let me show you how to do that. The first thing that we can do is click the three ellipses way over here to the right, and we can stop showing the prefix. If we unclick that checkbox, look what happened. We got rid of all that verbiage at the beginning of that uh, time code. But Let's pretend that you want to clean it up some more. We can do a pretty cool trick, and that's add another custom text box. Now, I'm going to get rid of the AM so we can get started from scratch. So what we're going to do here is enter a blank custom text, which will 
function as a mask. And uh, I'm going to hit the space bar about six times. Two, three, four, five, six. Now you, it's hard to see what we just did. So let me uh, run that up a ways and over to the right so you can see what we've got. And we'll put it down here a little bit. Okay, very good. So now we have a black box and we can change the size of the black box or we could even put in AM or whatever we would like to do. Look what happens if we run that over our time code. It essentially blanks out the underlying time code and we can put an AM if, if you want. We can do something like that and maybe change things around. All right. You get the hang of that. Uh, it's pretty cool, pretty neat. Uh, let's just, and you can play around with this, but there's a lot more that you can do with this wonderful program. Um, get it all dressed up here a little bit more. Okay. Now we have capabilities to change the color. The first color box is the color of the font. So if we click that, we get a picker and we can change the color of the font. Okay, fine. You can see what we did. The second is the color of the background. So let's change the color of the background, something crazy. Okay, good. So you can see what we just did. We changed the color of the font and the background. Now, we have uh, options here again, and uh, over here to the right, the ellipsis again, we have the uh, capability of unganging the uh, text boxes. So now, if we change the, um, the color, for example, of this custom text box, uh, it won't change anything else. It will not change any of the other stuff. So you see what I did just then. So we just changed the color of that box. Down here we have the opacity uh, button. And so we can change the opacity of, uh, of the box. Now this is the only problem that I've found using the the spaces to mask off the underlying text. And it, that is, if you reduce the opacity, pretty soon you start seeing the underlying text bleed through. So that's kind of a bummer. I haven't figured out how to solve that problem. And then we have the options here under, up here, we can apply this uh, burn in to the entire project or to just the clip that we're working on. So that's pretty cool. Now you can see that we've just scratched the surface. We just scratched the surface here and um, we can add a logo, change the transparency of the logo, real name, scene, take all sorts of options that we have. So this gives you a very good uh, start using DaVinci Resolve to burn in information. I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial and that you've found it to be useful. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.